Fort Worth-based television evangelists Kenneth and Gloria Copeland are the targets of what could be an unprecedented congressional investigation. The Copelands are among six different TV ministers who are receiving requests from the U.S. Senate to turn over their financial records. News 8's Brett Ship has been investigating the Copelands ministry and has the latest tonight on the investigation. There it is, right there. It was a News 8 investigation last February which first raised questions about Copeland's apparently personal use of his new church jet. This is a preaching machine. Most notably for a ski trip to Colorado and visits to an exotic game ranch in South Texas. U.S. Senator Charles Grassley, the ranking Republican on the Finance Committee, is using that information along with other reports to conduct a much broader investigation into televangelist finances. In a letter to Kenneth and Gloria Copeland dated Monday, Grassley asked for the ministry's audited financial statements for detailed explanation of their compensation, monthly expenses, credit card statements, a list of all bank accounts, and real property. Shout amen! The Finance Committee also wants to know more about the $20 million executive jet, including all of its flight records. How are you? Good to see you, I'm sir. Good. Just good weeks ago, News 8 on. had an opportunity to ask Copeland face-to-face -to -face about his personal use of the jet. Are you misusing your airplane, sir? No, I'm not. Not going to Colorado to ski and going to Uvalde to hunt? You're not using that airplane Any for those purposes? Time, that's none of your business. Use the Lord in Jesus, my name. Multiply it! Another Dallas-based minister, Benny Hinn, is Lord, also a subject of Senator me. Grassley's investigation. Jesus came into the city on a simple donkey. What are uh, disciples of his doing? flying in jets. Grassley says while he has no idea if any federal tax laws are being violated, he feels the time is right for those televangelists who flaunt their wealth to now account for it. Brett Ship, Channel 8 News. Well, today we received response from a ministry spokesman. It reads, quote, Kenneth Copeland Ministries operates in accordance with all federal and state laws. We are in receipt of Senator Grassley's letter and are in the process of responding to it, end of quote. But the Copelands may have more than just Senator Grassley to worry about. Tomorrow night, News 8 Spreadship talks exclusively to former insiders at the ministry. Former workers talking about what they see as the real story behind the scenes at the ministry compound north of Fort Worth. Do those prayer requests that pour into the ministry every day stuffed with cash ever get seen by Copeland and his wife? Tomorrow night at 10, News 8 investigates.